right, I'm back at the spot that I like to come to every June-ish. But there was a big fire here last year, so I'm gonna try and show what's changed. Hopefully I'll be able to get footage of that. Um, but uh, there's the red bridge. My um, dash cam camera holder is broken, so I'll see if I can get footage off my dash cam. Well, I only got here about 10, 15 minutes ago. I'm reading a novel, sitting at the picnic table beside the creek. And I can't seem to wipe the smile off my face. This really is one of my happy places. <laughs> and I'm just, I don't know. This is way better than any provincial, um, regular provincial campground because it's quiet and it's a little bit rustic. It's not paved everywhere. Pavement is good for me wheeling on, but I don't know, there's something about this and being alone out here, it's really great. But there was a huge fire went through here last year and it never touched the campground. It's still green and beautiful. But not up the hill. So it looks like it came down that hill. didn't get anywhere near the campground. You might have had trouble hearing in the first clip that uh, this Ashnola campground that I stay at every year and absolutely love um, there was a huge forest fire there last year after I'd stayed there and I actually thought that the campground was gone but a friend who lives nearby mentioned that nope the campground was actually saved but this is just video if you look in the background behind all the green um, the fire went all the way around the campground and did not touch my actual site there were some sites within this campground that were actually gone but not my favorite site. And my beautiful little campsite, which is still green. And there's this little patch of trees right here in the campground that burned. And there's my camping spot. I really like this tree and I've taken a picture of it every year that I've stayed here. It's just quite pretty and now it's been burned and even more beautiful.